Oh boy, it's time! Yup! Welcome to Peaceful Dreamland! Oh, thank you very much, intro of the game. Kirby's on a nice stroll. That happens a lot, doesn't it? Who doesn't like a nice stroll, though? Suddenly, the world's colors warp, and a strange witch arises! That, however, does not happen all that often. <laughs> Drawing in the air, the witch turns the land into a painting. Oh no! What can we do about that? It's devastation all over. Seeing Kirby, the witch flees to the sky toward a weird vortex. I don't know, I'd want to cuddle Kirby, really. Kirby gives chase. Although maybe the witch senses that Kirby is after her and yeah. <laughs> In a world of paintings, he challenges the witch, but her magic turns him into a ball. Oh no, that also happens a lot. <laughs> In Kirby games, helpless Kirby watches the witch escape. Oh no, poor Kirby. Looking down in shame, he doesn't actually look like he's looking down there, but whatever! He sees the witch's magical paintbrush! Kirby touches the rainbow brush, and... It transports to you on a ray of light! Oh, the stylus! It appeared in my hand as the rainbow brush! Yes! And that is how the game story is, basically. In Kirby's Canvas Curse, my next walkthrough. Hello, everyone, and welcome to it. I am Big Gam, and I will be commentating this bad boy here. And let's get this started here. Yep, brand new save file. Oh, yeah. It's controlled entirely with the stylus. Buttons are banned, well, aside from the start button, which pauses the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, why not? It'll be interesting. This game uses only a stylus. Grab the stylus to start training. I've got it! I've got it! Yes! Okay. <laughs> Touch dash! So, demo, 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 demo. And oh no! Let me ahead, Waddle Dee, the most dangerous critter of all of history. Alright, so let's see here. Oh, so, yep, you can just touch a stunned enemy after you touch them with the stylus, and you will wipe them out like nobody's business. And that'll also work as well. <laughs> so, yeah. Two ways to wipe out enemies that we know of so far. So here we go. Boop! Boop, boop, boop! Yep, and also boop! That works as well. Going through doors will make progress happen, I guess you can say. <laughs> or you can find secrets and stuff like that, but that's that's for the future. Uh-oh, uh-oh, look out for Spiky Gordo there. He will hurt you unless you time your way through it. Rainbow doors indicate the end of an area, by the way. Alright, I will most certainly touch to go, and, uh, wait, weren't, wasn't I doing that already? Oh, no! Oh, poopers, the block! We can do nothing about this block. Or can we? Boop! Yep, so we're kind of, like, multitasking with the stylus, and it turns into some pretty interesting stuff, actually, later on. You shall see. And so, we can break our way through here, we can also turn the colors red to open red doors, or other colored doors, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, there are- there's other colors in this game, obviously. <laughs> Doo -doo 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 -doo. Pop those clouds, otherwise Kirby will get stuck in them! Oh no, not the clouds! Poor helpless Kirby! Can't do anything without your stylus poking at him! <laughs> So, turning around, what- oh no, there's a bottomless pit coming! What can- oh, no, 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 disturb it! Stop, stop Kirby, no, no! Okay, what can we do? Oh, we can draw a rainbow line! Whoop! And then he'll bounce off the rainbow line and back towards the door. Oh yeah, we can save Kirby from certain doom. I was kind of at an angle, but whatever, it's good enough. <laughs> uh oh, 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 whoop! Oh yeah, go Kirby, go! To the door! 
We gotta get draw Sia, that witch! Oh no, spikes! We gotta avoid those! Oh no, bottomless pits! We gotta avoid that! But we gotta go through the door. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, I would like to ride those lines. Let's see how to ride those lines. Hmm? Get across, take action! Draw a rainbow, path for Kirby! Whee! And Kirby moves a little bit faster on uh, lines, by the way. So keep that in mind for your speed running needs. Alright, so. Woo! Oh, I think it's gonna actually get stopped. Oh, I didn't get getting stopped by that little little edge there. We are good! He just rolled right over that edge. <laughs> Yeah, we can also do some little loopies around there, like so. Oh yeah, so fancy. That's another way of doing it. Ooh, copy abilities. Yep, Canvas Curse has copy abilities too. Like uh, many other Kirby games, as it is Kirby signature stuff. Oop. Oh yeah, and when you see these sorts of blocks, you can break them with the beam ability. There's other kinds of blocks too as well, and touching that will chuck your power away. Can't recover it though like you can in other Kirby games though. It's kind of unfortunate like that, but it is a part of puzzles that has to do with losing and regaining abilities along the way and whatnot, so yeah. It will be an interesting dealio along the way. Oh, I love the wheelie power! Well, yeah, that was the enemy wheel. I mean, I mean, Willy for the wheel of power, but you get what I'm get what I'm saying here. <laughs> and oh, 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 the burning power from Bobo! Oh, breaks those blocks! Arr, arr, arr. Okay, I'm getting too excited here. Oh no, Shotso! It's shooting stuff. As Shotso does, what can we do? Oh, we can actually block stuff with a wall of our own. Oh, more depth. With just the stylus! I'm getting way, way too excited here for a tutorial, aren't I? <laughs> Woohoo! Alright, let's get this going here. Boop! And then we draw it down. Let your ink refill as you go. And there you go as well. Oh yeah! Oh no, a laser! Oh no, a wall! It stops Kirby in his track, by the way, so you stop the laser like so. Pop Kirby through that, we are good. And we can combine the two! Woohoo! <laughs> oh yeah. And that is how to play Kirby's Canvas Curse. Yeah, we don't have any water to test this out on yet, but we will! We will. It's kind of like reverse gravity water, basically. Anyway, here we go! Ready land! Every world is named after a color. Let's get this going here. There are three medals in each stage, three stages per each world. Well, except for the last one. But anyway, <laughs> stage one, plant plane, let's begin! Stars, they give you extra lives if you collect a hundred of them. There are plenty of stars to go by, so you don't really have to worry about that really. <laughs> Hey, just use the counter up there to calm. You don't have to count or anything like that. Just go, just go. And uh, look at this guy right here in this hidden corner here. He gives you the balloon power. He's known as balloon. And what is the balloon power? Well, you turn into a balloon like that, and then you bounce Kirby along like such. It's it's not really all that useful, in all in my opinion. <laughs> uh, if you get Kirby to bounce at, like lateral angles and stuff like that, you can sort of bounce him down and up and around, and yeah, into stuff, but if he hits stuff, but yeah, as I said, it's not really all that useful. <laughs> it actually hurts you, and you have four line, I should say, four dots of health here at this moment in time, and touching Kirby will make him get bigger like that, but eventually he'll pop. And uh, grabbing food items, uh, in this case, the uh, water bottle that we've seen over here, uh, yeah, see that? It'll actually recover your uh, energy level, stuff like that, and yep, you know it if you've played other Kirby games before. And oh, look at that, there's a medal! Oh yes, three medals per each place! Gots to get them all for 100%, and we also gotta destroy those dandelions just because it's fun! Oh yeah, and you are automatically shot out of these cannons too, by the way. I'm just kinda exploring the area to 
kind of give you an, an idea of how to control the game in a more realistic setting, I guess you can say. Killing off the Waddledees, the Waddledoos, and, well, not yet. Now I did! <laughs> and the Bronto Birds, those are those pink flying guys. And Bouncies too, because why not? I am sucking here. <laughs> I apologize for my suckiness. I'm not used to playing this on a PC, and that's that's kind of where I have to play this here. <laughs> but we are okay. We'll be just fine, I'm sure. It is the first level of the game, and thus not really a super threatening area in the slightest. In fact, I, I'm probably being a little bit too reckless for me getting used to the PC controls here. So I, I really should be going at a slower pace like this, and this is most certainly something that you can do if you'd like to as well, just uh, make things a little less intimidating, so to speak. And yeah, you're gonna knock blocks out by tapping them as well, you know, those bomb blocks there. That's another option that you can do. You may also go in other directions, like thusly, and yeah, see other paths, other lands. You didn't really have to go down this way, but why not? Just to see the world, get the hang of things, and I'm still running into stuff because I'm not used to touching like this. <laughs> I am so sorry. So, so sorry. Oh, okay. We're still kicking. We're still rolling. Speaking of rolling, we got the wheel power up. From Wheelie, go Kirby, go! We could also draw ramps and stuff like that too, it's awesome! Oh yeah! <laughs> Don't go in the store just yet. Don't. No, do not, do not, do not. Uh-uh. 100%, gotta do it. Look at this, look at this. There's a coin. There's a coin. Yeah, if you would've went in that door, you would've missed out on the metal. Yep. I said coin, but I know it's a metal, I know. <laughs> Oh yeah, we beat level 1-1 one, 100%. One, it's more like an intro stage more than anything. And now we got the dash jump minigame. The further we get, the more stars we get. Ready, 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 ready? Okay, so power, power, power. Woo! Oh, I didn't draw that at a good enough angle. That's all right, though. I'm still getting used to ye all PC stylus here. Woo! Oh, you'll do the Kirby! Had to be done on the top, top screen there. <laughs> Alright, Tiny Town is up next, and this is the first stage we'll come across so we cannot get all three medals. Like, see, all three medals are up there. But uh, we can't get the middle one because of something that we'll get along, I mean, we'll see along the way there, but... It's fine, we'll be back through here. <laughs> we'll be back through here later, don't worry. All will be well. I assure you. Oh, and I should actually be doing this the uh, proper way, shouldn't I? Yeah, there's that way to do it, and then there's actually... You can draw ramps to go around thusly, and I drew that a little bit wide there, but... As I said, getting used to PC control, I don't really... I'm not really on a, a DS screen here to uh, have a unify... I mean, a, I guess you could say a static boundary to my lines. <laughs> So it's kind of kind of hard to feel that out kind of blindly. Let's just put it that way because I'm not looking at my stylus as I'm drawing. So it's gonna take a little get a get a little getting used to playing on such a small area, but we'll be okay. I I assure you. All right. I'll, anything that is thrown my way, I can defeat with a little bit of practice and love. <laughs> Whee! Oh, no, no, don't you dare hit that bouncy Kirby. No, 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 I know you're helpless, but that is no excuse. Okay, it, it kind of is. <laughs> All right, moving through Tiny Town, we got our first sort of kind of timing thing here. Yeah, pop these cannons at the right time to make progress forward. You can pretty much tell which, which direction the other cannons are going to hit, I mean, which are going to shoot you. Uh, this thing that I just hit here is a checkpoint, so if you were to die, you will restart over there. And I'm going to go up this way here, because this leads to a 1-up. Oh yeah, and this, uh, this little room here sort of gives you a hint at a special hidden ability of your stylus. If you draw a loop, yeah, he'll do that, but it's not really all that useful. It's like a dash and a drawing a line at the same time, the sort of multitask, I guess you could say. But as I said, it's not super useful in a lot of situations as it's, yeah. So I don't typically use it that much, but it is fun to use every so often. And uh, these bubble blocks, yep, 
They they can uh, what, what, what I sun you what what what? Anyway, they pop when you run through them, and uh, since I don't have the ability, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, but that is all right. It's per it's perfectly fine. We are okay running into stuff. Well, to an extent. <laughs> We're still good. We're still good here. No big deal. Okay, we made it. <laughs> As I said, still getting used to stuff here. We'll be all right, though. And this is kind of funny here. Um, this coin over to the right, it's blocked by the switch block. As I said, we can't get it this first time around. But uh, when I came through here the second time, my first run through the game, I was like, how did I miss this here? How did I miss this? But it's because that's there. <laughs> it's because I forgot that block was there because I came back there later on. And yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny like that. All right, let's move on here with the groove on. No, 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 I don't want to bounce off the walls here. I, I drew the line into the wall, and that's that's kind of doom here to my tracks, I guess you could say. <laughs> All right, moving along. Jumping, or shape. Rolling into enemies, that is the name of the game in many ways than one, as well as finding your way through here, as well as looking out for medals left and right. Look out for the medal in the middle of the spikes. I better get the checkpoint just in case I die here, because I only got... Well, actually, I'll show you what happens if I die, just for kicks. And then, yeah, your life counter goes down there, but whatever. <laughs> As long as I am low on health, I might as well do so. Right, right, right. Just to show it off. There's a checkpoint right there. So there is what a death is like. And I might as well take your burning power because it comes in, comes pretty handy coming up here. And maybe I should have gotten those stars on my way through there. But eh, we're okay. We're okay. And by the way, uh... One up is coming with stars. Oh yeah, and you probably seen me grab another one up, yeah, like that earlier. <laughs> one ups, pretty obvious how they work. They give you an extra life. Yep. All right, let's dash jump one more time before I end off the part here. Yee Can I get further? Can I get further? This looks better. This looks a lot better. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! Do the Kirby. Do the Kirby. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> ah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah! And with that, I'm going to end off this part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I start stage 3 of level 1, the Ravine Road. Oh yeah. End recording.